Everyone is wax lyrical about the IE200s. Are they really that good? Is Sennheiser finally back on form? I thought the IE600 was pretty good while the IE900 was just okay. For those of you who are interested, I actually did the IE600 review in the link above. The IE200s here we have today, it's quite a different story. Now the IE200 features a plastic fantastic chassis that is light, that has enough rigidity for it to not feel like it comes out from some sort of sweatshop. It shares the same visual identity as its more expensive siblings as well. This I find very interesting, a sea of custom universal shaped chai fi stuff. It is designed to be rather rounded which makes them child safe but still a choking hazard. I can easily use them for hours on end with no protests from my ears. Build quality on the chassis is generally quite high tier despite its affordable pricing. In terms of the driver, the IE200 features the 7mm True Response Transducer. Sennheiser has traditionally used dynamic drivers in all their IEMs since their first audiophile lineup, the original IE6, IE7 and IE8. I like that they are sticking to their heritage and to perfect a line of technology. The driver is an extra wide bandwidth driver that allows for a wider frequency spectrum while delivering on ultra low harmonic distortion. The cable on the IE200 is a nice braided cable that has gold plating on both the 3.5mm termination as well as the MMTX. Cable is okay, I like how they look with the tight braiding. Sennheiser has also provided a bunch of silicone ear tips as well as memory foam ear tips. The ear tips also have a novel feature that allows you to tune the signature somewhat. While this does work somewhat, I do not think that they are actually very useful anyways. There are basically two positions that you can position the ear tips for two unique tunings. The first being all the way in the nozzles as such in a traditional IEM, while the second is likened to that of a venereal disease that is the outer position. This outer position reduces bass presence and heightens treble perception when it works. But unfortunately, due to friction when putting them in your ears, they kind of always revert to the all the way in position. So it's really a nice idea, but um, not so ace in terms of execution. Also, the silicone ear tips that they give is kind of bad. They, they are just basically too soft for it to provide any sort of decent isolation or seal. So in terms of sound, I've included two graphs in today's review as the IE200 is advertised with two types of tuning from the two various positions for from the ear tips uh, for your reference but we'll be basing this review mainly on the all the way in position as the provided ear tips kind of default to this almost 100% of the time. The outer position basically reduces bass presence and increased mid-range perception if you get them to fit. The IE200 is a neutral warm IEM through and through. It features great clarity despite its DNA and is better than average in its price point. These are a musical pair that can just suck you into the music. If you need a cheaper IEM that kinda is in the same vein, that would be the Moondrop Arias. The IE200 is similar but with qualities turned up a few notch higher. Honestly, I'm not too sure why Sennheiser has taken so long to create something so incredible. Bass has excellent slam, it rumbles and has excellent texture. I don't think that they have great control in the sub bass section and as such affects the level of precision somewhat, but nonetheless, it is addictive and engaging. I can see many enjoying this type of bass. I feel that it is very well balanced as to having more will lead to them be possibly too much, moving it into bass hit category. Mid-range, vocals take the center stage on the IE200s. They have a nice warm coloration that is coupled with uncommon clarity in this DNA. I found that this level of colorization enhances vocals making it a more engaging listen. Instruments in the mid-range are spacious sounding. Overall, following the script of being neutral leaning warm, I find that tonally, they render them realistically as well. It is technically very good. Treble. Treble extends effortlessly but does not go to sky-high territories. But honestly, you don't really need extreme extension anyways as the IE200 does the most obvious parts of treble really effortlessly. Treble has energy but does not wander off to the shrill category. Your crashes and cymbals have good bite while maintaining a smooth signature. They are airy enough for me but I won't rank them amongst the best in this category. But overall, it is smooth beyond its price point. Soundstage, width and height, both are moderately good and it's comparable to that of a size of a medium-sized hall. It is even in terms of width and height. 
in terms of depth and positioning. Again, moderately good on the whole, but excellent at the price point. The drivers have a fast enough transient response for music to sound very clean, aiding in good depth and positioning. And finally, in conclusion, if you own the Arias and you're looking to upgrade to something that has a similar signature, look no further. These are clearly quite similar but with technicalities leveled up substantially. With a neutral warm signature that is easy to like, I can see these being very popular. Technically excellent for its asking price also helps. But putting things in perspective, these are still behind its pricier siblings but this is really to be expected anyways. If you are getting these, do consider getting New Year tips for them as well. And with that said, thank you guys for watching the Super Chunk Super Audio Show. It's nice to see you guys back again. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, honestly, I really enjoyed the IE200 despite the thing magic with the ear tips. Um, I really hope that they do work better as it will be really interesting to have two tunings on one IEM but this time round it just didn't really work out. So hopefully the next iteration of these earphones with maybe a better tip will really make it work. In any case, uh, the IE200 are really really enjoyable to listen to and they have been on my rotation for the whole of the last week. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching the Super Chunk Super Audio Show. Uh, I hope to see you guys soon. Please like and subscribe. Alright, bye guys!